I'm Johnny Nomega, and we're sitting in, of course, Nomega Recording Studios. Now, I'm here to talk to you about a hot topic, an extremely hot topic. Now, this topic is more taboo than bringing up politics in a room full of Republicans and can create larger robberies than Cowboy fans and Redskins fans. And what we're talking about is hardware versus software. Now, before you jump to conclusions, I use them both. I use hardware. You'll see a Triton. You'll see live instruments. You'll see software, Pro Tools, and Reason behind me. I use it all. So I can say that I'm somewhat unbiased. Now, what we're going to do is go over pros and cons of hardware, software, and live instruments. Now, there are those of you that use Tridents, Phantoms, and Motifs that think people that use Reason, Appleton Live, Reactor, Sample Tank aren't real producers. And there are those software producers that think hardware is too complicated or it doesn't have the capabilities and the power. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the pros and cons of hardware and software. We're going to start with hardware. Now, hardware normally has a smaller learning curve. What that means is you can walk into your local Sandmash or Guitar Center, buy a Phantom or a Triton, and within 10, 15 minutes, you're creating your first production. Where with software, it takes a little bit longer to learn the software, learn your interface, learn ins and outs as well as routed. Hardware, you normally can set up your loops, four bars, eight bars, your quantizing once, and begin to create your production. Where with software, it takes a little bit more and you have to learn how to cut, paste, and push bars. Well, also with hardware, your sound retrieval is a little bit faster. What this means is you can you want a bass drum, you want a kick drum, you simply press it and you're there. Also, hardware normally has a fuller sound. So you can get that large tube sound, that large analog sound that you're used to hearing on records and CDs and Blu-ray discs and movies instantly. Now, before you software people try to crucify me, there are a lot of pluses to software. One of the pluses is the arrangement. It may take you longer to create the piece, but you're going to arrange it a lot faster. What that means is I can instantly create a bridge over here, a hook over here, push this over here using my Reason or my Pro Tools, the window, whatever I'm creating in. Uh, I can instantly bring in additional software sense so I can have almost unlimited sounds. Also, I can do breaks and drops quicker. I can take out the drums at the 8 bar to the 12 bar to create a 4 bar drop. So there's a lot of arranging capabilities that only software offer you or that software is superior to hardware in. Also, it's a lot quicker to do these things in software than it is in hardware. In reference to quantizing, with software, you can quantize. It doesn't, it doesn't have that instant quantizing on every track unless you set it up, which takes one more step in the creative process. But once you do, you have a lot of power. Also, you have a lot of power in your plugins, your EQs, and your compressors, which you have infinite amount of DirectX or RTAS plugins at your disposal if you're using software where you're normally limited to what you what comes in the board or a few patch bay additions with your hardware. Live instruments. We're going to touch on live instruments for a second. Live instruments are amazing. Hardware and software, neither can touch live instruments. Everything tries to mimic live instruments. The sound of a grand piano, the sound of guitar strings, the sound of an orchestra. Though unless you have a full band and the orchestra following you around 25 hours a day, seven days a week, you, you may want to go with hardware or software. You can create on your hardware or software and then bring a live band or orchestra into the studio to redub it for you. That's even better. My suggestion, now we're going to go to the Omega's tip of the day. My suggestion is to use both. I like to use software for all of my MIDI creations, my MIDI tones, my MIDI program, my program changes and controls are all done in software. I can see them, I can edit them, and that really works great for me. And then I can dump all of that out via MIDI using the MIDI interface, like a Motu 8 in, 8 out, to go to my Trident, Motif, or Phantom to get, create those large polysynth sounds. You definitely want to use hardware, I would suggest, for polysynth sounds, pianos, strings. Mono synth sounds, I really like to use Reason, Sample Tank, uh, or Orchestral for those mono synth sounds because they can give you that instant timing, great timing that only software can give you, and that mono strong low frequency sound that you need for a great production. And above all, use what's comfortable for you. What works for one producer may not work for you. So find something that works for you and make it work for you. Once again, I'm Johnny Nomega in Nomega Recording Studios, and remember, 
dreams can come true.